Hey guys, it's God's Airsofters, and I'm Freezer here with A-Spec Airsoft. Today, I'll be bringing you a video review of the KWA Mac 11 A1 Gas Blowback SMG using the new NS2 Gas Blowback System. You can see it comes in this very nice box that says KWA and M11 A1 and all sorts of cool stuff about the gun, and a little disclaimer telling you not to be an idiot and point it at people in the middle of a crowded mall. So let's open the box up. So, open it up. The bottom of the box top says KSC bullseye targets, but KWA and KSC are essentially the same thing. They're like neighbors. They live across the street from each other. But yeah, there are some shooting targets and some information to fill out at the bottom for like competition shooting. But then again, this gun is hardly a weapon you'd use for competition shooting. Now we get to talk about the paperwork. You'll have your A-Spec Airsoft warranty, blah, 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 30 days, call the number chrono sheet, telling you how hard it was shooting with point twos, who tested and inspected it. Keep in mind this is a rough number, depending on the temperature when you're shooting, you may be getting uh, some variance in your FPS. The warmer it is, the higher it's going to go, the colder it is, the lower it's going to go. That's just how gas weapons work. KWA Operator's Manual for your M11A1 NS2. Um, KWA is made in America for Americans, so there's no questionable wording in here, like there was in the JG Bar 10 manual, if you recall. Very simple, very easy, pictures, words, in standard English. It's lovely. So, with all the paperwork gone, this is what it looks like inside the box. You'll have your bottle of silicone oil, pop-up adjustment tool, 50 really high polish KWA BBs, you can definitely use these, a metal 50 round magazine, and your KWA Mac 11 A1. First, a quick disclaimer though. Before loading the magazine to the gun, make sure the bolt is open and locked in the rearmost position. Skipping the step may cause damage to the hammer assembly. So, here's a quick video tutorial on how to do it. Take your gun, the bolt right here, lock it back, then you can take your magazine, insert it, and then you're good to go. Also, the proper way to discharge the gas from your magazine is you should not be pressing the gas release button on the back of the magazine. What you should do instead is take the ammo spring right here, pull it all the way down until it locks into place, then loading your gun the correct way, pull the bolt back, put the magazine in, and then fire to release all the gas. There you go. Now for some history on the Mac 11. The KWA Mac 11 A1 is designed after the Ingram Mac 11 A1, which was designed by the American gun designer Gordon Ingram, who worked for the Military Armament Corporation during the 1970s. It is a subcompact version of the Mac 10, also developed by the Military Armament Corporation, and the Mac 11 is chambered to fire the smaller 380 ACP round. The gun has an insane rate of fire, somewhere around 1,200 rounds per minute. It is very difficult to control on full auto. However, because of the small 380 ACP round, which has a muzzle velocity of about 950 feet per second, this gun is widely considered to have insufficient stopping power, and in the hands of inexperienced users leads to a lot of ammo wasting, because they like to hold down the trigger a long time and that results in a lot of kick, and usually a waste of ammo, and really poor accuracy. Now that we're done with that, let's talk about the features of the Mac 11. Body is made of a very, very nice high quality polymer that you would possibly even find on real versions of the AR-15 and not just on airsoft guns. This gun also has an extendable stock. Push the two bars back here together, push the button on the bottom of the weapon, and it slides out like that. It's a very solid. There's a little bit of wobble right here, but in all honesty, I really wouldn't be shouldering this weapon. This is a secondary, and I would pull it out and go like, Bleh! Also, on that note, to take off the stock, you simply push the button in, pull it out. A much smaller weapon, uh, probably fit in your pistol holster. Bleh! Very simple, very small, very light. And to put it back in, Push in the two bars, push the button, locks right back on there, solid, same as always. 
The gun also has a open bolt, which you can expose by pulling back the charging lever right here, and exposes the bolt, as well as the hop-up system, which is adjusted using the tool included with the gun. Also, you have the bolt back for loading the magazine, as shown earlier. The bolt is back, and the magazine is in, and you have a really cool looking Mac 11. So here's the iron sights. We call them the cheese grater sights because on the real weapon there's three holes on the back sight instead of one. Uh, the charging lever has a slight dip in it so you can see through it. And then the front side post is on the front side post. I don't know why you'd be using these though because this should be a weapon that you go yeah! spray at people with. And you have your safety. It is in the fire mode right now, but to put it in safe. Just pull it back and you're in safe. And you have your fire selector switch. It's on full auto right now. You can push it over to semi, full auto, whatever you want to shoot it at. Pull back the charging lever. The hop-up unit is exposed right here. And you use this tool to adjust it. You simply put it inside, stick inside the hop-up, and twist up or down to adjust the hop-up unit. There are more detailed instructions inside the manual. And there is also a front sling mount right here, which isn't really a sling mount. For the Mac 11s and Mac 10s, they use a sort of cloth foregrip, which grips on to right here, and it clamps, and you can put your hand through it and hold it like that. It's pretty, pretty ghetto. I mean, you could, you could buy them, uh, or you could just make one yourself. I'm sure you can make one with a little bit of, with some metal clamps and some, uh, some cloth. So it shouldn't be that difficult, but it's also a completely aesthetic thing. It's absolutely not necessary for the operation of this weapon. The tip is painted, and if you take it off, void your warranty. It's probably not a good idea to go and show your friends at the mall without the tip, or at all. Now for the metal and polymer components of this weapon. The bolt is aluminum. The charging lever is metal. The sling foregrip-ish thing right here that comes on most uh, Mac weapons is metal, the outer barrel is metal, the fire selector switch right here is metal, the safety right here is metal, the magazine is metal, the trigger is metal, the stock, the entire stock is metal, and the mag release is also metal, and just about everything on this gun is metal except for the outer body and iron sights which are a very high quality polymer. So now over to Delta One for the editorial reports. Thank you Freezer! Now, the KWA internals on this Mac 11 are phenomenal. They are great, good, exceptionally awesome, fantastic, major, magnificently awesome. Anything I can say for gas internals, KWA is the place to go. Their gas system is just so good because it's so efficient. It's just great. I love KWA. I love what they've done with the Mac 11. It's got a 117 millimeter inner barrel and the NS2 gas system which I said earlier in it which makes it really good firing at 1800 rounds per minute up to there from anywhere from 12 to 1800 now I've heard of quarter mods uh, which make your gun almost shoot a thousand rounds per minute faster uh, and one of the things that's so nice is that the bolt is aluminum so which gives you the high cycle rate of fire so you can cycle faster by putting the coin mod in it just basically makes the gun cycle quicker and not as much so you get pretty much a half cycle but you're still feeding um, at 300 fps plus 350 fps plus it's a great buy i really like this gun it it's just one of those things you can't pass up it's like hey that's like a mini uzi and it fires like a mini uzi it fires fast high rate of fire and i highly 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 love this gun. So, this has been my take on the internal reports for the KWA Mac 11. So, back to you, Freezer. Thank you, Delta One, for the internal reports. So, now for the conclusion of the KWA Mac 11 A1. This is an excellent weapon, uh, sidearm for snipers or just anyone, really. Uh, you can blow through the magazine in about less than two seconds, whole 50 round magazine. So, it's shooting pretty hard, uh, not too hot, but Hard enough so people will know they get hit, especially when they get hit of 50 BBs in the face. So they'll definitely want to call out and not get hit anymore. Um, there's You can put a silencer on it, but there's not much point in that. The NS2 gas system is very nice. It conserves your gas. You won't be running low on 
gas in your magazine in the middle of a game. The stock is extendable, but I would take the stock off because I wouldn't be trying to make any accurate long shots with this weapon. Same thing goes for the iron sights. So all in all, KWA made a very realistic Mac 11. It has a very nice feel and is definitely one of the best performing Mac weapons on the market today. So, this is God's Air Software's review of the KWA Mac 11 A1 NS2 gas blowback submachine gun. Thanks for watching.